Good morning, everybody. I have some awesome news for you. I can't stop smiling. <laughs> it's a new day. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. So, I know that, no, that none of you understood what was happening with me and these pastors out here. <laughs> God is so good. <laughs> See, I told them a year ago that uh, my former guru sent demons to them because they were helping me to get rid of the demons that I had by their mass deliverance videos. And they didn't want to believe me. They just kept attacking me. They didn't understand why they were attacking me. They just kept attacking me. What had to happen? I could not let these demons in these people believe that they were going to intimidate or take over or put down a servant of the Lord. That wasn't going to happen. See, these demons knew who I was. This is why they kept attacking me. So what happened? Uh, Apostle Pagani put out a video this morning. He's, he's with another apostle, Apostle Joshua Giles. He gets fresh fire from the Holy Spirit and he gets deliverance. You can literally hear him screaming. You can literally hear him screaming. The demon is screaming as it's coming out. It's like church bells ringing. Church bells are ringing. Yeah, he got free. He got free. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, I always knew who he was, but I couldn't let him get away with what he was doing. And I knew it wasn't him. I knew it was the demon. Take a listen. This is only at the end. I will put this in the description. Isaac and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's a legacy anointing. yelling in the background he's getting delivered he's getting delivered praise god praise god ha <laughs> ha praise god praise god praise god almighty hallelujah 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 oh my god god is so good god is so good welcome back apostle welcome back hallelujah lord have mercy now, let's hope the others out here will follow in his footsteps because now I'm going to show you what kind of demons Vlad and his, and his buddy in, uh, in the pig pen, David Digger, are. Well, you heard the video David Digger put out last night that if you have a demon in your body, you can't be a Christian. Well, I guess Apostle Pagani was not an apostle, was he? This is what kind of fool David Digger is. Let's listen to what Vlad says here. As somebody who battled with insecurity and with inferiority and honestly lived for a very long time not believing that God had a purpose and a plan for my life, I believe that this video 
is going to change the way you look at yourself. This video might be the one that you will have to replay so many times. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through what the Bible says about who you are in Jesus Christ. If you don't know who you are in Jesus Christ, something's going to happen. You're going to constantly begin to do things to prove. You're going to struggle with competition. You're going to struggle with even some sicknesses and some illnesses because you were, you came from God and you find your identity in God. If you don't get your identity from God, this is what's going to happen. Is you're actually going to be like that foolish man that's building his house upon the sand. Whether your sand is your appearance, whether your sand is your accomplishment, whether your sand is actually ministry so many people go into ministry to get identity from God trying to get their, this identity issue from their ministry ministry is not a place where you're supposed to be fishing for who you are it's this is a man who sent three of his underling pastors out here to attack me I want you to hear what he says who we are in Christ and this seems to apply to everybody on the planet except for me, which is why they're still calling me a witch and a demon. See, understand, I fully understand it's not these people. It's the demons that are inside these people. The demons inside these people absolutely know who I am. They don't like the light. It's to be a place where you're serving what God called you to do and you can't love other people if you're constantly using them to try to fix this wound or this hurt that you are dealing with now when you don't know who you are you'll struggle with one of the three things one of them is that is this fraud complex meaning where you feel like you're fraudulent you feel like you are an imposter you feel like you I think I think that's that's who that's who Vlad feels like he is because he is an imposter he plays the pastor while he sends his underling pastors out to attack people out on the internet. He says all of these wonderful things about uh, being a part of the body of Christ, yet constantly calling me a witch and a demon. I must be such a powerful witch that all of these people are attacking me. Uh, no, actually, my light is very bright. This is why all of their demons are attacking me. Security. Everybody was guilty for my inferiority. And honestly, it was wrong. All these three responses are wrong responses. What do we do? If he thinks he's speaking about me, that I have inferiority, he's more deluded than I thought. What these people refuse to hear is that the Holy Spirit brought me through a four-year dark night of the soul. I have no inferiority complex. I have no low self-esteem. He's the one who suffers with low self-esteem as he still talks about his looks. He's the one who suffers with low self-esteem. This is what you call projection. This is what uh, Miss Younger Jakes was talking about yesterday. See, when you're in the sleep, that's all you know how to do is project. This is all these people do. And he goes through very quickly a Bible verses that tell that tell us who we are. You are accepted. This you, is a deal breaker. This is huge. You are what accepted. Mean? That means you're God's child, according you're, to John chapter 1, verse 2. You're God's child. Have I ever been accepted anywhere out on this internet? No, I've been attacked every single day. Every single day. But what have I done? I've been out here trying to show these pastors that their behavior is demonic. And look, we're going to celebrate today for Apostle Pagani because he's back. He's free. That means you're a friend of Jesus, according to John chapter 15, verse 15. That means you're justified according to Romans chapter 5, verse 1. That means you're united with the Lord and you're one spirit with Him, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. That means you've been bought with a price and you belong to God, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 through 20. That means How do you think I rate so high that, that all of these wonderful things apply to everybody except me? How do you think that, that this is even possible? I mean, could I really be so evil? Could I really be so evil? Yet I, I haven't asked anybody for anything. I haven't tried to con anybody for anything. The only thing I do is speak truth. And this is what they hate. This is how I know it's their demons that are attacking me. Do you understand? So now, here's what I'm going to do. Because I don't want to I don't want to be little. Be, um, what a, I, I don't even know what the word is. Not be little. I don't forget it. I don't even know what the word is. I don't want to drag this out. <laughs> Uh, what I'm going to do, here's what David Diggin did yesterday in case you didn't catch it. I'm going to put my video in the description. Then I'm going to put David Diggin's video right after my video so you can catch it. Okay? What I said in my video was to Prophet Lovi not to threaten me 
because I also am surrounded by angels. And so when David Digger put his uh, video out, he first spoke about the angels. You got to catch what he did. He first spoke about the angels and what are the different types of angels and is it really a, a fallen angel or is it a Nephilim? And he went down that path. And at the very end, he says, if a demon is in your body, that you are possessed and you can't be a Christian, well, uh, he should speak to Apostle Pagani about that and see what he says. Um, and then he talks about, let's pray that we all have discernment. This is the fool who should never, ever speak anything again about people having discernment because then they will be forced to look at him and oh they're not going to like what they see they're not going to like what they see i'm going to put all three videos in the description and uh i i hope all of you will will be thanking god and praising god for apostle pagani's deliverance and fresh fire hallelujah Hallelujah. I, I hope I hope I will experience the same thing very soon. So uh, man, I, I just I just can't yeah, would somebody so evil who hated these people look like this about Apostle Pagani's deliverance? I don't think so, you guys. I don't think so. So um God is so good. I told you, no matter what happens, God will get the glory. Amen. That's why we're all here. Amen. You guys have a blessed day.